Hey guys, welcome to another quick Logic Pro X tutorial. Um, Crossfading audio on audio regions. Um, it's really easy. You just go to the drag menu up here and set it to crossfade, like that, right? Um, now in the in this project here, the reason I want crossfading is because I'm mixing for this band, and due to the COVID, they can't come in. So I've run off a little short clip from each song, and then I'm just going to crossfade one into the other. So they can just listen to them one after the other, like fade out, right, crossfade in to the next one. Then that plays a little bit, crossfade out and into the next one, yeah. So I've set this to crossfade and then I just drag the clip over the other one and however far they overlap, that's how long the crossfade will be. So that's a long crossfade, that's a little short crossfade. And then once you've got the crossfade there, you can bring up the shortcut menu and set what type of crossfade you want. The default is this equal power one, like a curve, a convexed curve out and a convexed curve in, but I'm going to set it to S curve, just straight linear. So now one clip fades into the other, or fades out and the other one fades in. <laughs> So that's why I'm doing it, because I want to put all these clips one, you know, fade the next one across like that, and there's a little fade, set it to an S curve, which is what I want. Okay, but this can also be useful, this crossfade. If you're, um, you know, dropping a little bit of audio that, that one bit of audio plays along and the next one takes over, you might want to have a tiny little crossfade where they overlap, you know, if you're just bolting one bit of audio onto another, and it just makes it, you don't get a sudden jump from one to the other. They'll still, if you make the crossfade really small like that, you get a little fade out and fade in, so it'll smooth the two where they join. And you just zoom in and make it a tiny little short crossfade like that. Yeah? And then you just get a... It just smooths the fade, uh, the join between the two. You can use it for that purpose, or like I'm doing, for bigger crossfades, we actually want to hear one fade out and the other fade in. Etc. And that is how you do crossfades. Okay, see ya.